that we have. I think the, the, the blues um, have a fundamental mission as it relates to their social responsibility. Um, re Reprioritizing their, their charitable spending is something that I'm going to ask them to do. Um, and I'm going to ask them to make sure that this bridge, the adult basic program with 50,000 lives of average people, working people who can't afford and can't get insurance should be their first priority for their charity mission. Now, as you know, they may disagree with me on, on that prioritization because they'd rather have their Blue Cross um, insignia in many different venues across the Commonwealth. I'm asking that the charity mission be focused on people, on real people who need care. The reality of our discussion when we started um, the, the, the House Bill 1 discussion, and, and even earlier than that in the earlier session where we lost the battle on the, uh, the, the change of the adult basic program into the ABC program, was there was only about, you know, 30,000 people on the adult basic program and only about 150 to 60,000 people on the waiting list and the economy was humming along and none of us had job insecurity, right? But today, there's 385,000 people on the adult basic waiting list. The uninsured has expanded in Pennsylvania from around 750 to 800,000 people uninsured to over a million people without health insurance. Why? The national economy has impacted the employment market, and as people lose their jobs, they lose their health insurance. That's why this bridge is even more important. That's why helping me uh, in my effort and I'm, I'm urging you to, once again, you've been my, uh, I think, my strategic partner in the fight for access to health, affordable health care. In this particular element between 2010 and 2013, the adult basic program is crucial to maintaining the, the integrity of advancing health insurance for people. What we're going to dump people today and cover people tomorrow, is that really what we want to have happen? Is that really what the federal law envisioned? Um, so I think that the social responsibility uh, that was embedded in the, in the community health reinvestment agreement, the CHR, that the, 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 the fundamental part of that was that there had to be not only in the boardroom of the four Blue Cross companies, there had to be a logic that I think went like this, look, all right, they're right, we should cover these people. And second, it'd be bad public optics if we didn't. It's going to even be even worse with them aligning a situation where they're going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars trying to feed access to health insurance for the nation and then dump 50,000 people in the streets come December 31st of 2010. That's an unacceptable scenario. So. I wanted to come to you to let you know that we've advanced um, a bill. We're going to use that bill as our starting point. Um, there may be others in the Senate who think that the, the community health, uh, see the CHR agreement should be um, continued. I'm willing to negotiate uh, those terms, but I, I won't, and I don't think it's, it's responsible just to dump people out of the insurance marketplace in, 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 a, in the current environment where we're actually trying to cover more folks. So I think that's the overlay of kind of the politics um, and the policy of where we're going. But let's not forget that the Blue Cross companies have $5.9 billion in surplus. $5.9 billion in surplus. We're not asking for $5.9 billion. We're asking for the last time they, they negotiated this agreement for five years, they gave $150 million for five years. It doesn't take much to, do, to be charitable, and that's what we're asking the Blue Cross companies to be, is to prioritize their charity spending, to make sure that the, the, the adult basic program that they've committed to, that they've invested in, that they've sold on their 800 lines, they're the intake officers for this program, that that program doesn't just shut down and have a loss of these folks.